Okay, on this one, I'm gonna use this paint that I mixed up. I don't know if you can see the color of it, but it's cobalt blue with raw sienna and a lot of white to lighten it. it takes a lot more white than you might think. And I'm gonna try something. that I did the other night and see if I can get something halfway close to what I did the other night. And I do have white in there that's not completely mixed up and that's why you see the streaks, but that's okay, I like that. I just want to stripe down the middle. It has no paint on it to see what happens. This cup has burnt umber, magenta, white, chroma gold, which is a light, really yellow looking gold, and some green that I mixed that's made with this base color, but with more raw sienna mixed into it. Hmm, I may need to cover this whole canvas. I just did that painting a couple nights ago. Now I can't remember how I did it. I think I have a blob. I'm afraid I won't have enough to <clears throat> do what I want to do up here, but I can always put some more of the paint to fill in. I'm gonna use the blow dryer on this one. again. Now. This is what I played with the other night. I had a lot more dark paint on it that time. And I might put some more dark paint on it today. Because I don't think it's going to do what I want it to do if I don't. But I'm going to stop it and go get some more dark paint. Okay.
Sell that spreads that thing. Mmm, I like it. Okay. I will have to mute the next part. too much base paint. It's really thick on the hell this edge. You can see it running. It's really running off down there. It's stretching it, which is good. Let's see what happens. Let's put it down this way. See if the whole thing shifts or if not. Still dripping off that side. Wanting to drip off down there. It's running. You can see it running right here. Take it off. I figure since this is like one part paint to two part Floetrol, that what I'm mostly losing is Floetrol, which is only $13 a gallon, 14 with tax or whatever. So, a lot cheaper than paint. I kind of like it just like it is. Still, though, I'm going to do some more stuff to it. little more definition. Excitement. Too thick.
wonderful adventure. Okay, so I'm going to turn the blow dryer on again. Well, that one certainly is not wanting to move and spread out. And this one up here isn't either. I think that magenta was thicker, heavier paint. Maybe mixed a little heavier or whatever. This looks bad. I love that magenta in there against that brown. It looks cool. All in all, I'm not hating it. This looks like what I'm going for, in case you hadn't figured it out. Flowers. Looking for flowers here. Flower petals. Brown leaves. Too much. Talk on it. <clears throat> there is no telling how much of this I'm going to have to edit. I've got a white spot right there. On the corner. that right on over. Walk that down because it's dripping off now. That edge has already started to dry. This paint I'm using is, it does a real good job of leveling out as it dries. Got a lot more paint down there than I did on the other end, don't I? That magenta is not moving. It absolutely is not moving. So. Oh, some of this is so pretty, I hate to mess it up. With the blow dryer, I may hit it and it look worse.
talking about finish before. I'm completely messed it up. I will take the camera down and give you some details because there's a lot of color in here that you probably can't see. Some of this is just so cool. I hope the overall thing is when it's dry. You just never know. Okay, I wanted to show you all a close-up so that you could kind of see how it looks. Of course, I got glare and then I got shadow and all kinds of things going on here, but this is the right end that you all didn't get to see all of after I reviewed the video. But I wanted to show you details like that, how that feathered out. That's from using the uh, hair pick and pulling those little stripes of color out and then blowing them around. And then right in here, I'm not too happy because first of all, I ran out of paint down here, you can tell from the canvas being almost bare. And then right there in that area, it's just kind of blah looking. I hope it dries better. And this one I'm not real happy with because I couldn't get it to blow out but and spread, but it almost looks like a flower if you're standing it up instead of looking at it in this orientation. So I just wanted to show you, I don't know why I'm getting so much shadow. It's from this light that I use, I guess, um, lamp. But anyway, down in here, this is how this looks. You will see there's paint that's different thicknesses, so I may get some texture on this one. Love how this faded out and blended. This is, I'm not so crazy about, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. So, but I wanted you to see how this kind of blew out and changed from just a plain old background. And up in here, you actually start to see some of the white up in here that came out from when I poured the original paint out, the base coat, and it had some of that white in there that hadn't blended completely. So you don't have to stir it in until you get one solid color. You can leave some stripes in there and then it's gonna show up a little bit in your base. I am absolutely in love with this, the way that magenta spread out. Not the little red stripe, the way it blended. But look right in here, I adore this. Where that magenta just spread itself out and faded out, it looks so pretty. And that's what I was trying to get more of, and of course I didn't, but you can see how this whole background has some color to it and has a little movement and it's not just a boring solid color background. And then there's my glare and my shadow. So here's the best I can do until it dries and I can move it. So thank you for watching. Have a good one.